like this for instance. Here we go. Right, like this. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. Just like that. And the painting on the outside. And the frame on the outside like this. You know, the border that we get, like, uh, make the frame. 40 by 60. Three of them. Welcome to the art world. The life of Michael and Tony Piquez. Peace. It's quite interesting to know that the project that I'm working on is probably affiliated with uh, where, where, where this is at. So I'm actually walking down just to take a look at the uh, new Gucci store. I think that people have recognized what's going on. Um, not only that Gucci has been around for a long time, but I know it's a lot of young people who are getting into it. I mean, it, it probably was into it even way before, but now I think um, this is an inspiration. Dapper Dan, I think we both go back in the um, kind of in the days I remember um, in Harlem and uh, Brooklyn, people were wearing a lot of Dapper Dan clothing. I don't really have the stuff that Dapper Dan used to make, but at one point I did have a jacket, um, I believe. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> but anyway, I um, noticed that um, um, they were talking about this man really a lot. And it came to my mind about, you know, uh, wow, like who is this man, you know, and then you know, some people were looking at me with the same kind of, not style, but like, you know, they, like I had this like image of uh, Dapper Dan. And um, I always was a guy that wears bow ties and stuff like that. And, um, you know, the thing about it is that um, I wanted to know more. And when I found out who this man was, I said, I'm going to do a series of him. And um, I um, thought that that would be really, uh, you know, uh, people would recognize that. Many years um, of my life, I've been um, working with glitter, um, acrylic um, materials, and things like that. And I thought I would actually put this into the image of Dapper Dan. This is one of my friends that work in the um, museum of modern arts, and um, I've been knowing him for a long time. He knows I'm an artist, and you know, every time I come in, he always talk about you know a lot of different things, you know, and. Um, How's my artwork doing? How's this? How's that? You know, everything is still cool. Every time I'm just seeing you, always lavish. Peace. In Soho, to where people were doing a lot of different uh, implemented ideals. Um, you had sculptures, you had different, lot of different things that was going on. Most of the time, that what I was doing was going around looking for found objects. Found objects was a very interesting thing because when you, and then I used to hide a lot of the ob objects that I couldn't even take with me, and then I would come back and get it another day. And, and some people would have objects and they would make a lot of different things out of them. And that's when I, some of the sculptures and things that I would make was quite interesting. Um, right now, um, I finished up three Dapper Dan pieces, and right now, here, are two more pieces that I'm about to finish up. Um, some have uh, even objects, as I was talking about what was going on even back in the 80s. Here I am in front of Jean-Michel Basquiat um, art uh, space, where the um, later um, um, artist uh, passed away at. Um, I was here the night of um, Al Diaz's uh, art show, and uh, what happened was that um, I ran into him, and he actually signed one of my jackets that says, uh, <laughs> Uh, Sambo's not dead. Uh, makes me feel like I'm uh, actually part of this as an artist. Um, I think um, it's quite interesting uh, to know that um, this is still existing and uh, that um, you know the art is still moving. And uh, welcome to the art world, the life of Michael and Tony Piquez. <laughs>